Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB. This is our morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now. With news, the New Zealand dollar is down at around 56 US cents this morning. Down from 57.5 after Reserve Bank Governor Alan Bullard warned that long-term wholesale interest rates were out of line with the Reserve Bank's expectations. Now this raised perceptions that the Reserve Bank may cut the official cash rate even further on April 30th. And so we saw a slight fall in wholesale interest rates as well as the New Zealand dollar because we're not quite so attractive to international investors. However, it's unlikely to be enough to actually get banks to cut their mortgage rates after they'd increased them in the last couple of weeks. Meanwhile in the States, news out that American banks cut their bank loans to large companies, so-called syndicated loans, by 61% in the March quarter from the same quarter a year ago. Just to give you an idea, they're now at $80 billion US in the March quarter. That's down from a peak of $450 billion in the first quarter of 2007. Just to show you how deep that deleveraging is. US car sales down around 45% from a year ago. And we're hearing from London that the G20 rioters are clashing with police this morning and they've smashed windows of a Royal Bank of Scotland branch. And meanwhile the actual G20 itself, there's quite a bit of dispute running up to it. So President Sarkozy from France has threatened to walk and it looks like the G20 are going to blacklist a variety of tax havens and try to regulate hedge funds. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was 90 at 9, brought to you in association with ASB. Thank you.